Hey everybody, this is Heartless Spartan with another Monster High Toy Talk review. Today I have Mattel's Monster High Fearbook Twilight Doll. I have two more Fearbook dolls left to review, but I've also gotten a nice surprise from the toy store this past week in the mail that was quite hefty that had just been released. However, school has resumed, so it was back to work for me, and things have gotten super busy. So I'll try my best to be getting the regular videos out, and it'll take me a while to get that particular thing reviewed. For today, I'll take a look at the new Twyla doll. Okay, let's take a look at Twyla. I mean, I always liked like the uh, purple and blue color combination on a lot of these dolls. And I'm a fan of purple, so I, I really like uh, Twyla's color scheme here. So let's take a look at her makeup first. Oh, I'm noticing in her eyes right away, she's got these little buttons in her eyes. Like, right on the pupils. That's kind of cute. And then she's actually got this uh, various uh, different colored pattern going around both eyes. That looks really nice. She's got slightly rosy cheeks. I never noticed that before. Uh, she's got a couple of, I don't know what to call these, um, almost like pigtails, but they're just a couple bundles of hair coming down either side of her here. Ooh, she has earrings. Hold on. What are her earrings? Possibly uh, keys of some kind. They look kind of gothic. Maybe it has to do with the uh, game pieces we're going to look at here in a little bit. On top, she has little uh, spider barrettes with little spider webs on their backs. Those are kind of cute. And then her hair is real nice. Didn't come out of the box too bad either. But I like the mix of like purples and that sort of uh, maybe like a teal blue. But that's very pretty. I do like that. And it's nice, nice full hair. I, I like this on this doll. It's not real thin. It's, it's, it's got some uh, fullness to it. Very pretty. Now, I think this is cool on Twyla's arms. These kind of uh, misty patterns here. Like, I think she's supposed to be like a boogeyman, right? But she's also like a dream keeper, kind of like a Sandman thing. Which is pretty cool. Which, if we bring our attention to this other wrist, we have little uh, sand timer or an hourglass there wrapped around her wrist, which is a really cool uh, asset to her theme there. I like that. And then this sort of uh, gothic purple dress is like very cute on her. I really do like that with the little thrill or frills. <laughs> And then it's just pleated just a little bit. It's got like the little folds in it coming down from the uh, top. And that pattern on there looks really cool. And it lo actually looks like uh, spiders, kind of like spinning webs. That's really neat. A little sort of gothic collar on the top there with the little bow. And I do believe that is held on by Velcro. It's a very cute dress, though. Uh, we have more of that kind of uh, misty, stylized pattern here on her legs, and that looks really cool. Now her heels. I can slide one of these off. There we go. Now, I wouldn't have thought 
Twyla to really be one to have like super high heels, but she's got like these very high platforms, but the style on that is kind of neat. Lots of swirls on there. Little additional purple bow on the side there. Oh, there's like little tassels coming down, but they're just sculpted on there. Okay, that that's okay, that's probably my favorite part of this here is the uh hourglass on the footprint there. With a little candle underneath it. That's pretty cool. So that's neat. It just kind of surprised me that she had like super high platforms. That is a very cute outfit she has there. Now, her accessories get quite interesting. Uh, I'll start on the left here, though. I think this is like another one of those like uh, Varsity Monster... Oh, I'm going to have to lay her down. There we go. Uh, Varsity Monster High uh, Club Jackets. So this here has the uh, Gamers Club logo on there. Trying to tell if this this purple has a pattern to it. It's a little bit marbled, I think, with a little bit of black in there. But then we get more of that misty pattern on the sleeves, which is pretty cool. Do we get anything on the back? No. So is this one hard to get under her? What does this look like with this on here? So it's not hard to get onto the doll, you just have to pop the hands off and pop them back on. Okay, there we go. So it will go over her collar. Yeah, that actually looks cuter, cuter than I thought it would look. That actually looks rather nice. And I like that this kind of color here goes along with like the brightness in her hair. That's really nice. Like the color scheme for her is very fitting. I like it. Uh, of course, continuing with that fear book theme, Twyla also gets her own picture book here. And the uh, board games club. That is a very adorable picture of Dustin there. Who else is in board games club? Looks like uh, Gulia and Laguna. Really? All right, cool. Gives me yet another reason to like Laguna. It's on the back. Okay. But I mean, this this isn't like plastic or anything. It's just kind of a thicker cardboard, but the printing on it is like really nice. Now, probably the best accessory in the set is this awesome kind of like uh D, D board game setup they've got going on here wait a minute is that like the monster high play set kind of thing going on there that's what it almost looks like to me that's kind of cool if it is Though, just as a heads up, I might be getting that soon, so I might be able to confirm that. I don't quite remember 100% what it looks like, though. 
but I actually really like this. Now this is a rubber piece that's kind of like just kind of plugged into there so you can remove that if you want and then just plug that right back into those little slots there. But then this is like, eh, it's somewhat of a bendy plastic. But this is a much harder plastic than the little houses in the background. Wait. What do we got on the bottom? Oh, nice. It belongs to Twyla. That's a nice little addition. Like, they didn't have to do that. But it's just like a nice little discovery piece on the bottom there. Wow, even this is kind of textured there, the little path. And then she comes with two dice. What die? What are these? 13, 14. What are they, like 14 sided dice? Or die? Hmm. All right, two different colors. Kind of a nice inclusion. What I get? Eight and a ten. Check the rule book. And then two little character pieces shaped like Dustin's. They're little dust bunnies. And then if we just kind of scale that a little bit there. Oops. Can I get it to stand up? There we go. So you can actually stand that up on the little board game there. Now, what I thought was pretty cool is that it also comes with a little character sheet too. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the game is supposed to be called, H&H. &H. But she's got her uh, little Dustin character drawn out there. Some statistics. I'm trying to tell if that's readable. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was supposed to be readable or not. Or if it was just kind of like that print that looks like it says something. But I still think that's pretty cool that they did that. Even though it's just like a little cardboard piece. It's a nice uh, inclusion to the set there. And then of course what's game night without snacks. So this is kind of neat that they actually made this out of cardboard. It's uh, pretty well printed on there. Some Boo Crisp cook cookies. Yeah, there's some more of those, that, like, fake wording. I mean, if you absolutely wanted to, you could open this up, too. But it's just made out of cardboard. And a little platter of cookies. Ghost spiders and a one-eyed blob monster. Cool. Oh, there's a skullette. But, I mean, this was a really cute Twyla doll. And then the uh, kind of unique board game accessories in that. I rather liked that idea. So that was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move into a montage.
So Twilight easily wins me over with her purple color scheme and gothic style dress. Her outfit and hair were very pretty. There is also the inclusion of the Gamers Club Varsity Jacket that was nice. It seems each Fear Book set gets a Varsity Jacket for each Monster High Club. So that's a pretty neat detail that they have going for the Fear Book dolls. Her shoes were pretty neat. They're not my favorite, but they're interesting. The accessories in the set did get my attention. The board game that she comes with allowed me to set up a game night with the other Gamers Club members, with the Haunted House-looking board game taking center stage. Then being able to dot snacks, books, backpacks, and a bunch of other accessories around to make a scene where the girls are just having a fun game night. Though it seems Laguna didn't roll so well. One other accessory I want to mention is the Dustin character sheet that Twyla came with. That was a very nice detail. Overall, it's a cool set with a cute Twyla doll and some good accessories that are very relatable. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Would you want to see more from the Monster High Gamers Club? I think it would be interesting to get a playset based on that. That would be cool. This has been Heartless Spartan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.